Would you believe me if I said that two grand could be arriving in your bank account on a monthly basis? Yes, this isn't some hoax or ploy to make a quick buck. In Washington, there is a genuine idea that is creating a stir. Is in the midst of all this political bickering, 32 states have already passed legislation. Hold on a second, because I'm about to spill the beans on something that could drastically alter your financial future and why you absolutely must be aware of it simultaneously. Excuse me. Hello, everyone. You have returned to Stimulus Updates, the channel where you can get all the most recent information regarding stimulus programs. Today, I, Ali, will be your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some noteworthy happenings. First, we need to address Vice President. Kamala Harris's shocking announcement. Harris has put forward a plan for qualified Americans to get $2,000 monthly stimulus checks, which is a daring initiative that is attracting attention from both political parties. Attention, everyone, this isn't going to happen once. The persistent economic difficulties have left millions of people struggling financially, and the possibility of regular payments could be a lifeline for them. I can sense your thoughts at this point. Am I dreaming? I will explain it to you in simple terms. Although it is still in its early phases, the plan seeks to help American families in the long run by reducing the economic effect of the pandemic. Let me summarize. Monthly payments of $2,000. Income requirements for eligibility. Payments will be maintained until there is a noticeable improvement in the economy. However, things start to get intriguing at this point. This plan has been simmering for some time. It's a continuation of the stimulus programs that came before it and the increasing discussion of UBE, or Universal Basic Income. Keep in mind the stimulus checks that have been floating around for the last many years. Some thought they weren't enough, but at least they were something. Stepping things up a notch, this fresh plan has the ability to offer sustained assistance that could improve people's lives in meaningful ways. I can practically hear the naysayers now. Can you tell me where I can find all this money? That is a valid point, and that is the crux of the argument about this idea. Investment in American families, according to proponents, will start at the bottom and spur spending and growth that will benefit the economy as a whole. The effects on the national debt and possible inflation are the concerns of the critics. But listen up, this isn't some abstract discussion anymore. Second, today's video drops a bombshell. The concept of recurring payments has been making waves. Is everyone prepared to do this? 32 states have already begun providing low-income citizens with monthly stimulus payments. Yes, these states are actually doing something while the federal government just sits about and talks. What are some of these states doing? Let's examine them more closely. Eligible California citizens can get up to $12 through the Golden State Stimulus. New Mexico, a state that provides low-income families with $400 monthly subsidies, has a scheme in place. For years ranging from $1,000 to $2,000, Alaska permanent fund payouts have been distributed to citizens. 500 qualified families in Washington, D.C. can apply for $5,500 through the Three of East of the River program. As part of a pilot program, the city is giving $500 to 5,000 low-income families per month. There is a rising tendency across the country, and these are just a few examples. Local governments and states are stepping forward to meet the demand for sustained funding. Do you want to know how to find out if you qualify for these payments? Excellent inquiry. Although eligibility criteria differ by, there are always new versions of these programs and updates to the old ones, so keep that in mind. That's why it's so important to keep yourself updated by checking in with your local government. We need to stand back and examine the broader view now. What does this bode for America's future welfare programs? Is a longer-term basic income program becoming more popular? This is an actual trial run of some kind of economic program. The effects of periodic payments on households, communities, and economies are being better understood thanks to these state-level initiatives. Future federal policies, such as those proposed by Vice President Harris, may rely heavily on this data. The purpose of these state projects is to demonstrate the viability of regular payments before they are used on a bigger scale. Thus far, the outcomes have been quite promising. Participants in UBI pilot programs, such as the one in Stockton, California, which lasted two years, reported better mental health, lower stress levels, and a higher likelihood of finding full-time employment, according to preliminary data. However, individual advantages are not the only consideration. Universal basic income advocates claim that these systems can impact entire society. Listed below are a few possible advantages. Less inequality and poverty. Find more people will start their own. Businesses now that they have a safety net in place. Less stress and easier access to healthcare lead to improved health results. 
Education prospects are enhanced when families are able to afford to invest in their children's education. The cost of rolling out these initiatives nationwide would be high. Some are concerned that a guaranteed income might make people less motivated to look for work. More money being pumped into the economy can cause prices to rise, according to some. There are no simple solutions to these complicated problems. The discussion of UBI and regular payments is spreading beyond the academic community. That much is certain. It started at the local level and has now made its way to the federal executive branch. So how does this impact you personally? See if you qualify for assistance if you happen to reside in one of the 32 states that already have programs in place. If you aren't already involved, the increasing support for these programs implies that they may soon expand to your community. It might be a lifesaver for millions of Americans if the plan for $2,000 monthly stimulus payments from the federal government gets traction. One thing stands out above all others, though. The situation is changing at a quick pace. It is essential to be educated about the ever-shifting scene of economic support. For that reason, you may count on me to keep you apprised of developments in this field. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications if you would like to remain informed. I will explain all the important points and simplify the intricacies so you can understand what's happening and how it could impact you in this story. Would be great to hear from you. In your opinion, are these monthly payment plans reasonable? For the federal stimulus program, would you be in favor of a $2,000 check? Post a comment telling me. This is just the beginning of the story, more will come in the future. Keep in mind that when it concerns your financial security, knowledge is power. Keep up with the news, actively participate, and I'll see you in my next video. As I am leaving you, this is Earn Money Stimulus.